wange nendi okanzikiriza Yesu ngo mulokozi wange praise the lord mukama yebazwe my brother uh, who had been born again in budo a muganda wange yali yalokokanga aliye budo he became a pilot yafuka muvuzi wa nyonyi so as he flew up in the skies kati bwe yali ngabuka munyonyi one day he had given me a lift lumu yali amtadde ko munyonyi amvuka we are going to arua wali tukaenda arua so when he reached the skies bwe yatoka wagule mubire he put on what they call autopilot automatic pilot na ateka ko e pesa elili automatic elia pilot and he powered a cup of tea na alioka ampa nafuka ekopo cha chai and he got himself one na ye ne ne etera mwe ekopo chirala and then he started singing oh lord my god how great the what na bwe yagenda ngatadde mwecho natandiko okukola obyo luyimba ngaga anti mukama angoli mukuru the mountains the moon and the skies the stars they glorify your name na kama tensozi nebile enjuba no mwezi era ne munyenye byo nabi kulumiza linyaliyo you cannot see that glory better than when you are in the skies echi wecho chama zima tosobola kutiraba okujja kongo oli wagulumbire and i had not given my life to jesus ebisere byo nalisi naba kuwayo namu bwange yesu and this man is born again his flying in his heart and even in the plain omusejjono ye yali antu alako yali alokotse ngabuka mubanga ne wankubadenga ali munnyonyi i saw the joy vibrating in him era nalaba esanyu eri ali muliko like my mother's joy ngesanyu lifanagana ne lya mangere yali like my departed father bishop festo chivengere who preached to me to come to jesus eranga lye sanyu ne eri muchi tange bishop festo chivengere lye yali chintu echenja uwe chibaliko i had that day i prayed i said oh god era kunako lo mutima kwange ne nsaba nenga mukama i know if this pain crashed into a mountain ndisinge enyonye ne gena ne tomero rusozi and got into the flames of fire era ne gena ne yako omuliro my brother would fly to heaven like a bird muganda wange yaja kubuka busa gene mugulu nge chinyo and i would tumble to hell like a black stone na enze nja kukirira wansi mago I said oh god nengama anti mukama my mother preached to me my mama mama wange yabulire njiri jendi first church venger has preached for me for almost 5 years first church venger abuli dokumane miyaka etano my brother god has preached to me era netata wange yafane yambuli njiri and many other people and abantu era na abantu abala bana said please don't let me go to hell nengama mukama tonzikiriza kukirira magombe i said When I come down safely this evening I will give my life to you. Nenganti bwenkoma wo walero ngandi bulunji. Lero ngena kuwayo bulambu wange joli. It was 18th December. Zali na kuzo mwezi 18 omwezi 1996. Omwaka lukumu wenda nsanvu mukaka. 9 PM. Kusawa satu ebechiro. I open my life to the Lord of Lords and Kings. Nenzi kulawo mutima kwange eri mukama wa Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are living in Entebbe. Atwali tubera ntebe and i can never forget era sinza kwera bila that very day oruna kwolo that song when i sing it oruimba lo bwendu yimba almost for 21 years ago kumale olwalo na yimba miyaka ana mu oh lord my god how great the word nenyo kangama anti mukama ngoli mukuru it is always the new song era oruimba lo bwendu yimba tiranga pia the strength to talk about jesus oruimba lo rumpa amanyo kokera ku yesu without holding back nga sibya marega because jesus became everything for me kuba the reason to live kubanga yesu yafuka buli kimujendi era yensonga rwache ndi mulamu and when i became a bishop era when i fuka omulabiri people said now we shall see nebaga anti katumulabe Are you going to jump and dance like you always jump? Ono da mo kubuka buka no kuzina ngabyo badokola. Singing making a lot of noise. No yimba ngo tulekanira. I said well, nengamba kale, I'll see. Tunaraba. I said if you put on the the you know the cassock, nenganti boteka ko kasoka. And rush it, no teka ko ne kanzu. And shimea, no yoko teka ko chinechimiyu. And the maita, no teka ko ne kufire mpam. And the cop no lyo koteka kona ne ne chiziba we chinene and the and the bell and 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 the, uh, you know um scarves no teka kona olukoba i said if it's about 200 kilos we bibanga bizito wanyo bili na kire 12 i will not dance sija kuzina but if i can jump with them ne we masawo i will jump, jump. hallelujah I am still dancing and jumping 10 years after becoming a bishop. Oluva nalo kwero mulabili ze miyaka 10 na kati nchaso bolo kubuka. Because Jesus makes sense. Kubanga Yesu akore nsonga. 
and in my heart I said, if Sister Chivengeli was that, he lived that vibrant life, my mother Steri, Mama Wange Steri, who is by the way today 90 years old, and he still calls me on phone. When he came on my consecration, I said, if I become a bishop today, then my mother is the Afande Archbishop, my first Archbishop. Mama wange yesaba labiriza asoka She has lost her physical sight enaku zina maso kete gachalaba but her eyes of the spirit are brilliant mm. and sparkling na yamasa go munda galaba era galabira dalala so whenever i come home ne no recho ruben koma waka behind tungamo my home chali rake tungamo i just come quietly nzija mpka chimpo i put off my 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 cross and put it on her nzija ko musala ba kuno go bulabirizi nengu muteka ko i salute i said my boss my archbishop ne mukubira saluti ne mugama anti oliyao mukuru When she touches the cross, bwakwata ku musalaba, she busts out with the tukutendereza. Olukwata ko nalyo kayimba tukutendereza. She knows her son and friend has come. Anga amanya anti mutabani wate mukwano gwato. So, no Rachel. The chief guest and your grace and my lord bishops and great mukaddo uh, children of God. Mukaddo from Kenya mukuru sabalabirizwa Uganda na balabirizwa nabantu bakatonda mwena. Today I want to speak like the Banyankole say. Lero njagala kuogera nga Banyankole we bagamba. Because that's the language I grew up speaking. Kubanda kula njogera runyankole. I even learned to Rwanda when I went to Rwanda I didn't know much. Echama zimu runyarwanda na ruiganze ye Rwanda ngasima nyinyi. Abanyankole bagira ngu omkamukunda kutumowanyu. Abanyankole bogera we batyo. Eh. Ntikabaka kwagala akuwereso bubaka no mutware wamwe sibwe bagamba. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I praise the Lord for this wonderful wonderful privilege that I have been given by the Bishop of Namirembe through his grace the Archbishop. Njagalo kwa bazanyo rwo mukisabu no gumperedwa mukadde wa form labirizo we Namirembe nga aita musaba labirizo wa Uganda. Your grace the Archbishop my Lord Bishop uh will be false. Mukadde wa fesaba labirizo no labirizo we Namirembe. This invitation I was blown away. Bwana funo kuitibwa kuno ne mpulira ngambukira mu banga I said when did na mirembe that Stephen get to know me Ne tani ko ko ebuza obulabirizi bwana mirembe bwa manya buti Small small mnyarwana man at the board of Burundi Omunyarwanda oli ali eri wansi ku nsalo za Burundi Invite me to the oldest most ancient and powerful diocese Ne mpita ku bulabirizi obusingo obukuru obukadde obwedda ka ngao I need to thank of praise God Ne fukamira wansi ne ne Hallelujah I was profoundly humbled E chama zimanaka kana wansi I knew that even when I think I'm small uh, even when I think I'm small Ne manya nti ne wankubadde ndoza nti ndi mutono God knows me Katonda manyi God knows you. Katonda akumanyi. He knows your name. Amanye nyaliyo. In Isaiah 43 says you are mine I redeemed I know you by name. Era mu Isaiah anamubira kama nti nakumanya era ne nkuita ne nyi. Anamu satu. Isaiah anamu satu. Nakumanya. And in Jeremiah 1:5 that I knew you before you were born. Atamu nyene mi esule soko nyo lokuta naka nakumanya nga tonda na kuzalwa. And I said prophet to the nations. Era ne nkwa uro kubera na bi eri amawanga. I thank God that he has made me a prophet to these East African nations. Nyagaloko bazakatonda kubanga mfude na bi munsene. This last 35 years or so I've lived and worked in all these countries. Mu myaka asatu mweta ne gise nkoledde mu mawanga ganoko na gashi. And I was thank God bringing me to Namugongo for the first matters day. Njagaloko bazakatonda ne se Namugongo kunakuru abajulizi olusoke dida la mara. Such a priceless honorable way. Era mu ngeri ena te yechitibwa. I used to come here to Namugongo. Najanga wa ne Namugongo. As a student at Kampala High School. Ngandi muyizi mu Kampala High School. As a student at Makerere. Era ngo muyizi mu Makerere University. Even a worker era ngo mukozi but never as a speaker naye nalisijanga kuwa nongage ndo so akumkawandi ke kama kabya fayo please not that down it is historical that there's nothing possible with god titeri kitasoboka wali katonda so allow me coming to this jerusalem njagala munzi kirizenzi je mu yerusalem yena because for me the lord was revealing to me that being at namgongo is like 
you know the Pentecost go there at Jerusalem eranze mukama abadana kanti okuje na mugongo koso nations and tongues were there so allow me to greet most of you at least in various languages I've preached and spoken njagalamunzikirize <laughs> Mukama we we kiti wa bulijo ebyo byo nabyo kide mu Luganda kati agenda mu lulala Haleluya Abanyankwere mukama simwe Mwe bale kunda ye saba ankore na na West ankore na North ankore South ankore Mukurchenzi bona amabare mukazara mu mukaheka Haleluya Kanda abari hire aba kwatire bigere mukagenda kilometers 1500 ranga kahandi ko mwiguru mukama simu abanya kijazi muri je mukama simwe munonga mwizuke cheke eke eki zine cha kabare rugarama eki twazine twasima Yesu haleluya oti yesarantangaza haleluya Awa soga kodeo Haleluya Itesot Iyama nyun chut 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 Ituta de jaka ites noi 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 Isire nyelo suba noi chut ye 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 Elango Bamigum Rosopaki Kirgum go Gipako bang Lubango betke di matek na khanaka Hallelujah Amen Wale wametoka Kenya na Tanzania Bwana sifiwe Wadu wagi kui mwaza na rogo Saroku miyoni mwaza ni wahinya Hallelujah Amen 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 Pulse exoveni di Congo Sono soit loué soit béni et soit glorifié. Alléluia. Amen. Amen. Elie Swaga. Alléluia. Let's bring us this together to share and reflect on the great heroic martyrs whose remains lie here. Ah katujukirera no kuleta mirembe no kujukira aba abajulizi as I read through you know the short history brought to us by our reverend Mike Waso Michael is he here the vice principal Michael thank you so much you educated me profoundly I had some historical awareness of Namgongo never before had I known the depth and the profundity of what was accomplished here you are a remarkable historian and you need to educate more and more of Uganda and East Africa and beyond what I recognized was that out of the 45 matters that were murdered here are 23 Catholics, 22 Anglicans plus our bishop Huntington who was lifted and glorified to the Lord went to be with his God a very young bishop of eastern equatorial who was vibrant to spread the wonderful gospel of light and eternal light in this region his life was cut short by the murderers of uh, uni executioners who killed him in Busoga. I am sure God wanted Busoga to be blessed 
by the blood of the righteous from which, from which would spring the kingdom of God that would be raptured come the day erango echo chechachi geno kusitu bwaka 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 tonda obali bugeno kusitulibwa ekiseranga kitusa but what i wanted to emphasize historically neche nyagala okuteka ko mulaka mpyafa of the matters that whose lives were you know were massacred or whose lives we are terminated abajulizabo abatibwa oba abajibwa omungeri eyo on the 3rd june uh, of 1886 nga satu june mulukumu nana chinana mukaga and those ones who were massacred the first ones uh, lugarama uh, serwanga uh, kakumba who Ata. were the very very first matters in mpime revera era naba abaso ko kutibwa baserwanga nabalala neba kakumba mu kumpi merebera plus a uh, joseph mukasabali kudembe the catholic page who Mo, was a very close friend of uh, mwanga ngokaseko ne charles oba karoli rwanga e yali mukwano nnyo kwa mwanga all those dear people 95% of them Abantu abo bonna ebitundu nchenda mu mitano Are you listening to me brothers and sisters? Banange mumpuliriza 95% plus chenda mbatano ku 10 no kweyongerayo They were Baganda bali Baganda I want you to give a big hand clap to Buganda for that Njagala mukubire Buganda mu ngalo It does not matter where you come from in this country sifayo obato fayo kuwaje mva mugwanga lino the most important thing is that their lives laid a solid bedrock and breakable foundation for your christianity today etikulu cha byo nanti abasajja bano omusayi gwawo gwawe ogwayika gwasima omusingi omunywevu ogunywede ogwokukiriza kokoli mulero the power and your story to that I am given by the Holy Spirit. Mumanyi no buyinza obumpebwa moyo mutukuvu. I want to order you in the name of Jesus. Njagala kulagira muri nyeri ya Yesu. To give a big hand clap okukuba golden heroes. Ngokubira abasajja aba abazira. If you are the kind bobango oli muntu oyo that still had tribalistic feelings in you ali na kusosola mawanga ono muganda ngotane koka mono muganda kanya nkole kano kanya nkole kanya rwanda kanya rwanda and when they think to tell you also put up your hand newe mtu imatu kutendeza ngwani ko mukono wakuru i urge in the name of jesus repent mkero kulagira munye ya yesu wenenye because the blood of the saints and martyrs and heroes of faith Today is joining us together as one nation of God. Kubanga omusayi noko wayo kwa abajulizi kuno kutuleta okutuka tawamu ngabantu abali awamu. So Buganda gave a great gift to Uganda. Buganda yawaye kirabe ekinene eri Uganda. Buganda you must know you have a very priceless legacy. Abaganda bomanye nti muri nechi fete njawulo eriye gwanga lino. There are you need to stand up. Abaganda musituke and hold your legacy. Musitule kitibwa cha mwe and move with it. Era mutambule na cho and stop fighting for land. Era mulekerawo kwani nettaka kumanye ngamuli munonya. You run and spread the gospel to the entire Uganda Rugarama was a munyankore Rugarama yali munyankore Andrew Kagwa who was cut and amputated was a munyoro Andrew Kagwa oyo yatemwa atemwa yali munyoro and the Lord wanted those to represent those various places katonda yeyagala abo bajje bachikire ebitundu ebyo i want you to understand njagalo tegere kino that i by god's grace 
I repented of tribalism long long time ago. Don't misunderstand the preacher. Don't think this Munyarwanda preacher is coming to cause Kavuyo. I am speaking the truth of God's word. But the demon of tribalism in Uganda must go to hell. And the blood of the martyrs is together. Because of that blood of martyrs, Uganda was able to bring the gospel to Rwanda. Uganda was able to bring the Rwanda. Through Sivambi. Through Nagenda. Through Chigosi. Through Chinuka. Through Sharita. Sharita. Kasabiti. Abo. Very many heroes of faith have took the gospel across Africa and the world. Hallelujah. I went to Australia ten years ago. Someone asked me, Do you know East African revival? I said, Yes, I am a descendant of the East African revival. And the people who preached to my father and my father preached to me were from East African revival teams. I went to California, the other west end of the world. And someone asked me, do you know East African Revival? I said, of course, I am from the center. said, people from me with East African Revival teams came and preached to us and I received Jesus. So Uganda, you have been a blessing not only to Uganda, but to the world in Jesus' name. Uganda, you might forget, you might not even realize how precious you are to God by way of being a river of life to many dying nations. It's because of this blood, blood of heroic martyrs that Uganda was one of the rare countries that coined its motto, Coat of Arms. For God and my country. What a blessing and a legacy man of God. This is a rare thing you don't find anywhere in the world. It's only in America that they have motto in God we trust. America and Uganda in the whole world. Uganda Monsiona and America is trying to rub it off. Ate America ekeza ko chisimuna. Please stand up and raise and lift your legacy. Aba na Uganda because of the blood of the martyrs that we are commemorating today that Uganda was able to get a national anthem which is a prayer all Uganda may God uphold you we lay our future in thy hands United free forever. We shall always stand. Oh Uganda, the land of freedom. Our love and labor we give. Your Excellency, this is a special nation. Mukadde wange Vice President ene ine gwanga lya. Your host the Archbishop and my lords, the bishops. This is a part of Africa and a jewel to God. You may not realize that. I speak about Uganda because this is my homeland. I was born in Washamere in 19, on 6th of March 1956 at 3 p.m. Okay, don't you don't have to worry. That is my birthday. My mother was born when the last border between Rwanda and Uganda was coming in, and they called her name uh, the one that goes over the border. Ninety years ago, Mama, 
Bamza aliranga bate maken salo ya Uganda ne ya Rwanda erinya le bamutuma lye lye litekeza ntino ensalo oyagwa mu nsalo zombi ne miaka chenda emabega My grandfather was the chief at that time her father Jajange yali mwami obisere the king of Ankole by the way mwami wa mwami wo mukama wa Ankole So just in case you think you are more of Ugandan than me forget about it. My mother grew up in Lubiri of Kabaka Mugema Daudi Chwa. Mama wange yakulira mu Lubiri wa Kabaka Chwa. Don't ask me how she ended up there. Tombu zanti yajja tya mu Lubiri wa Kabaka. So yali mu mbeja. She was a princess. Yali ne linya lya bambeja. She had a princess name. Yali ogeranga chimbeja. She used to speak as a princess. Ba kamblaga bambeja. She used to walk as a princess. Ba linya byonange bya bambeja. She had all what is of the princess. Era bwe yaggeyo kegamba ndoza byamuleta ne bimukwesiza mule chimukuba tata nafunya kumukeka. And when she came to Rwanda that's when my father had to no, get no, her. She came to Ankole. She came to Ankole mm. and my father had a chance to get her. So I may be mulangira you don't know. Nyizo kuba mulangira but at least I'm sure me mulangira of above kingdom. Above all I'm a princess in heaven. So when I talk about you girl I talk with all my passion and pathos. When jogera ku Uganda njogera ku mulinga mpulira nema. So you might think of you in Uganda. Oyinzo okulaba nga waliwe bizimu mu Uganda. You might think Uganda is unmanageable, corruption is rife. Oyinzo okuloza nti Uganda nzibu ya kudukanya, nti muli mwa mukenu nzibu itirivu. And our leaders are finding it difficult to even stop it. Neva nafa bakulemeze bekwanga. President and vice president and cabinet and parliament you know, and legislature fail if they fail our president vice president our member of parliament don't blame them blame yourself njagala wenenye gwe kenyini christians you are not doing your job you are not carrying forward the legacy of these heroes of faith that fell here. Even the Bambeja who had accepted Christ during Mwanga's time refused to bow down to the bear and they followed Christ and died. Nabambeja abali mu lubirirwa kabaka mu kisere echo. Bwe baba lokuulira enjiri eyobulokozi. Baga nokufuka amiliyo nokudamo kusinza ebitali katonda. Remember uh, the Catholic page uh, Joseph Mkatabali kudembe, you know, when he annoyed the king, he ordered for his execution. Amuju kirenti no Joseph bali kudembe. Eyaliyo mugalagala wa kabaka, bwe yajemera kabaka, bamusindi kanima mugama agenda tibwe. But he was so close to Kabaka's heart. Na ye yali mu kumpi nyo no mutima gwa Kabaka. So Kabaka changed his mind. The the king over the king yachusa and ozai. And he said instead of mumute nagant mumute. Muchifacho okugamba anti kill him he said release him. But because prime minister Mukasa did not like him. No yero okuba anti katikiro te yamwaga yali tamwagala. He had murdered him at Mulago. And so by the time the order of the king came it was too late. Kabaka agenda okulagirira anti no waye mu mute ngoli ya malpedo kwata. What am I trying to say that those heroes of faith Kenya galo kutegeza nti abasajja aba abamanyi mukukiriza. They never counted on their lives. Tebatwa obulambu abo babutwalanga sikintu. They even were ready to sacrifice all their priceless privileges. So when you walk 500 kilometers, no no it's over bango tambo 10 kilometers, 400 kilometers, 1 kilometer it no, 300 over every step. You've attended every matters day for the last 10 20 years. Era oba tengo obera okunakuru abajulizo okumala emyaka jonnejere mabega. I want to challenge you. Njagala okusomoza. Let it not be in vain. Njagala bireme kuba byabwerere. Tuna mugongo to ignite your faith. Njagala jenna mugongo ngozo kusitwa kukiriza. Come to na mugongo to sacrifice your your last needs and you know world desires. Jangwe na mugongo ngoze okwae ngasadaka ebyo kwegomba kevyensi. Let the blood of these young martyrs 
Let it be a big challenge and an ignition to revive my life, your life. There are three quick things I want to say and then I sit down. That the death of these gallant soldiers and heroes of faith it generated eternal power and three things happened. Many, many things happened, but I want to emphasize three things. Praise the Lord. First, that death gave rise to the birth, growth, and expansion of the church in Uganda. Second, this remarkable, unique death brought about the spread of the good news of the kingdom, both at home and abroad. Third, this rare precious death of the martyrs brought about a new sense of unity in Uganda and beyond and forgiveness. It's obvious that people cannot forgive and unite unless Christ is born, you know, is born in their lives. Because Christ has we all remember that in 1875, His Majesty, the first king, first Mutesa the first, he is the one that invited the Anglican missionaries or the missionaries in general uh, to come. And the word he used is, come and get us out of darkness to light. And when they did, you know, the supernatural transformation had begun to take place in Uganda until 1885, 1886, when Kabaka Mwanga came on. But the Lord also used Kabaka Mwanga to be able to stir a new fire, a new commitment to preach the gospel and take it beyond borders and of Uganda. And because of the Lord, we all know that uh, in 1896, uh, it is the missionaries from Uganda who preached to Kasaga Mumkama Kasaga Mawatoro and he got baptized. People like Ruimbazi. Nachifuma. Who were the people like Subuga. They went to the kingdom of Bunyoro. Uh, they preached to Kabarega's deputy called Chabatrezi. They preached to Kabaka to Kabarega's son. Never they preached to Damari, the princess, the daughter of Kabarega. And Apostle who joined them went into the Congo and the gospel ran like wildfire from this boiling pot. But as I finish, let me emphasize on the aspect of salvation, unity, and forgiveness that was birthed out of the blood of the martyr. Mm. 
Okusonywa era no bumu. Praise the Lord. Mukama yeba zwe. We we know that the world has never changed because of firepower of the gun. Mumanyi nti nse ganyo kuterera. Orechi zibuche mundu. Praise the Lord. Mukama yeba zwe. All have our experience in Uganda and elsewhere. Echama zimatubira byeko wano mu Uganda era na walala. As much as you use firepower, you only harden people's hearts. They never change. Nemwa koloti akasoko de sama nyige mundu. Abantu tebayinza kuchuka wabula bayongera kunywera bunywezi. Nemiti majeongera kukaluba. But the power of the word of God breaks and melts hearts and transforms people into new creatures. Naya manyiga akatonda. Bwegagwa ku bantu bakatonda. Gatuchusa ne gamenya we, we all know some notable gallant leaders that have lived in our time. Fenatumanyi abakulembeze abamwanyi ababaddewo mu mirembe jaffe. People like Mandela who instead of fighting back and revenging all the brutality and cruelty of the apartheid government he instead extended a hand of love. Omusajja nga Nelson Mandela eyandibadde ajja nga ze kuwolera gwanga Oruwe bye byaliwo mu kutulugunya no butsi olwokso sola mawanga naye omusajja Nelson Mandela kye yakola yaleto mukono ogwo kwagala no kwa was liberated from almost an impossible kind of regime South Africa YNC eya nunulibwa ne fuli bwense yo mulembe Someone called Abraham Lincoln one of the greatest leaders America has known omusajja nga Abraham Lincoln omukulembeze wa America acha ayogerwa ko nuno alero he was a godly leader omusajjo ni yali mukulembeze nga wakatonda who always paid good for evil era ye omuntu oyamukolanga HIV ye yamukolanga kirunji in roman chapter 12 he says do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good mu balumye sura 12 bible yetu gamba ntite muwangulanga HIV wabula muwangule ngo obubi nga mukola obulunji forgive me i will not go to read scriptures because of time but I'll be quoting so you can note down. No reto sigena genanga nsoma buli kitundu wabulo lwo budde nsaba go kiwandike buli chenjogera ko. Abraham Lincoln when he ran for the elections, Abraham Lincoln we yagenda kwesimbao Republican elections, abali Republicani, he was from a very far village. Omusajjo ne yali ava mu kyale ekyewala. He did not belong to the club of the leaders of Washington. Yali tali mwabo abakulembeze abo mu Washington. So many people despised him. Abantu banyi bamuisa mu amaso. And one of the top, you know, uh, aristocratic leaders was called Stanton. Naye omu ku basajja abakulembeze go baita Stanton. Whose great grandfather had led and his father and his all those. So he felt what is this villager going to do? Oroku bantu ono msaje ya bachitata beba hali bakulembeza wa amanyi yatani ko kubuza ono Lincoln yagenda kola chi And when Lincoln you know was in the campaigns uh Stanton unleashed such terrible venom of abuses on him As uh, Lincoln we yalinga anonya akaluru ono msaje ya Stanton yatani ka okumusiga katugamba akata no kumuwandulira ebigambo ebiringa ngo busagwa bwe bwe about what he used to talk about him abantu bamubulira ono byabadde amwogerako and he ignored Lincoln ni nabi nabi na natabifako and time comes Lincoln wins the elections ah uh, etsera Lincoln we yawangula obukulembeze and he appointed cabinet ministers we are around the minister mu government ye but one of the greatest or the most strategic ministries was left vacant e chifo chimu oba ministry mu yajireka ngate ya amanyi mwali te muri muntu gwe batademu that was the defense ye ministry ye ministry ya ye byo butebe ministry ya defense ayebe ye byo kwerinda and people thought he had forgotten he had given some of his best friends and campaigners the jobs one time when he is in bed with his wife so his wife turned to him and said sweetheart are you okay are, are you sure you're doing fine mulumu bali beba sene muchala we mubulili muchala we namugambo waye mwami olozo tegera bulunyi obwongo bukora said why did you leave that important post and you've not given it to any of your friends 
Echifecho wachi to chitabe mumu ntuye na wachi to chilesao na imi kwa anojo na oto chibawa And he said there is only one man in the whole of the United States of America who is qualified to take this position Na agama nti mwa eriyomu ntu wa mwenye ka mu United States of America agwani le chifecho Waking up the following day he announced that Stanton had become the Ministry of War and Defense Bweyazuku kenkera kumacha nalangirira nti ono Stanton eyamuweleza nge bigambe bichamu aweredwa wa minister wa defense The whole of America was taken by storm and shock America yonane eliyoke gwa mu nyanya But I want to tell you that when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated ngakalo kumategeza nti Abraham Lincoln bwe yakubwa masasi Stanton had been so transformed and broken and melted by that love and forgiveness a Stanton ye yali amaze okukwatibwa ako erango mutima gwe gumaze okutulukanga kiriza oluoku akaloko uh, Lincoln kwe yali amaze When his boss died he almost went mad mukama we Lincoln bwe yafa ne kumbi katona gwe daru When he recovered he was the person who fought for civil rights for the family of Lincoln for everything he could never pay enough for that goodness and grace. Era Stanton we amaro kuona muchiri che yali echiyongobere che yali ye yatani ko kulwanirira family ya Lincoln na bana ben bonna okulaba nga bafuna che batekedwa okufuna. Hallelujah. Kama eba ziwe. We are here to reignite our salvation gift. Tuzewano okuzo obupya okukiriza kwa fe. We are here to ignite our unity as the family of Christ. Tuzewano okuzo obujja ngaba okwezo obujja ngaba na abende mu process no muganda no muchori no munyarwanda we are all one in christ ama ama wanga akoko naka ayogeddeko fenna tulina kristo we are here to ignite the fire of forgiveness tuli wano okuza amamanyo omulirogo okwa kusenywa when east and west germany were still separated aba germany aba east na west balinga baukanyem East Germany was communist. Abali bali banakali akani. West Germany was Christian. Ateba na ba West Germany bali ba Christian. They had that Berlin Wall. Bali no gusenge ogubaura. So one time the Eastern Germans they powered a lot of gutter and rubbish and terrible, you know, in over the other side of West Germany. Bana runakulumo aba East Germany. Bagere ne bakwata buli kasasiro na buli TV chone chiunya. Then the West German people they got the best food, the canned food, milk, bread, rice, fruits, and then they, they doubled the amount and they powered over the other side of the world. Then the Germans they started taking the world was told that when the world was broken most of the people who became Christians and testified were those who ate that food. Hallelujah. Don't be overcome by evil. Come to Namgongo not to be overcome anymore by evil. Don't be overcome by evil with good and God's grace. That is the message. We are seeing Rwanda where Tutsis were massacred over one million. Tujukire Rwanda abatusi abasuka mukakade we batibwa. I have been involved in the reconciliation, forgiveness, healing and peace building processes. Made ko mu kubali ku mulimu ogwo kulaba nga abantu badda badda ne kusonyi wagana no kudingana. Today so many Tutsis forget the Hutus who wiped out all their families and they have joined built one house, kept one family, digging one garden as and walking raising the flag of Jesus. Olwalera abatusi banji basonyi abahutu ababatira abantu bawe kati obasanga bali mira mu nimiro emu bazimbye nyumba zezimu ngabakolera wamu ngababa sonyiye kiliche baba kolo luvanyuma. Oche baba koledda. Buganda which gave us Uganda the gift of this blood. Buganda yatuwe kirabo kino. Echa umusayi kuno kwa abajulizi. What is the temperature? What is the level of our faith in Uganda?